Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is John Horton, and welcome back to another episode of the Hawk Academy, season number five. Five seasons into it now. Wow, it's been a long one. To be fair, it's been a while since I've done this. It's mainly because I've just now back from holiday. So yeah, I'm just going straight back to the things. Where did we finish last time? Oh yep, I remember. We survived into the league. Um, yep, finished thirteenth. Yeah, we could have finished in European places, but we dropped down. And our last ever home game at the Bird's Nest, we lost 4-2 to Man City. And to be fair, it was a disappointing ending. But I think this season's going to be a real game changer for us. It's not a factor about the kit, which again, home kit, I thought was quite decent. I quite like it. The away kit, I feel like I'm playing a game of checkers or something. I don't know. But the real game changer is... Our brand new stadium. Yep, after two seasons, it's finally built. Our brand new bird's nest. Oh, look at it right here. Just so unique and different. Much different to other um, Premier League stadiums. That's what I like. I like to be different. We're bringing in a lot of players from the Youth Academy. And we've got a better stadium to perform in front of these kids. So, hands up. A thumbs up from me. I love it a lot. We move on to the squad. This season, I want to uh, at least win a trophy. That's what I desperately want. I'd like to go on a little bit of a cup run, you know what I mean? Just get a good cup under the way. Get us qualified for European football next season. Heck, we could do wonders in the league. But that's depending if these players want to show up. And I desperately need some key players to show up here. So let's get into some signings. Only the two signings I've been able to sign this window... And to be fair, this one was a no-brainer. A six-foot-six German defender. You know what? You're just going to fit in very nicely here. So we welcome Milan Fischer. And we found this Polish striker, which I thought, yeah, why not? Why not? Um, brilliant striker, Polish. I'm not comparing you to anything else. Your first name's Robert. A nice, nice. Robert Lemon. I mean, Krupa is now a player for Hawk Academy. And that's the squad. Yeah, no, it's just the two signings. Oh, just again, I got a lot of players coming back from loan and their overalls went so high up. So I thought, I've got to give you game time now. And as well as that, um, you're missing one person in the squad. Yeah, Jose Luis Adore's left us. A shame, I know. He was the sole player to help us get into the Premier League. He felt homesick, so when Villarreal came calling, I thought, off you go. Plus, the offer was too good. 69 million. Wow. So, with that, let's go on to another season in the Premier League. And what a way to start your first game in our brand new stadium against Chelsea. Well, I just hope for the best this season, to be fair. I don't want to be slumping out. I want to be really fighting for European places. And I just want to get a trophy under our name. So come on, Hawkey Academy. Let's do this in front of the brand new Bird's Nest Stadium. Boy, oh boy. What a start to the game for us. As Hans has gone on a run, he signs a through ball it into a brand new striker, Robert Krupa, who makes it 1 0. The Polishman. He's only gone and gave us his first kick of the game, his first goal. Taking the lead against Chelsea. What else can I say? Until my defence really slept up here. Real big gap and a shot right in. It was unexpected for Glover and they made it 1-1. Real party poopers are you, Chelsea, huh? Oh, well. Let's start things off with the second half. Well, and again, start the second half. Dribbled round by Marin. Pass it to Kruber who scores another goal and guarantees the win of first ever game in a brand new stadium. What a debut for the Polish striker. On to our biggest game, Manchester City. Let's see how they do at the brand new Bears team. It doesn't matter really as we've only got and took in the lead again. And you know what? It's him again. Robert Kruber, the real trooper. For the Hawk Academy, who makes it 1-0. I just... Can we finally beat Manchester City? Well, from this result in corner, you can probably guess what this means. Open header. Free chance. No one wants to mark him. 1-1. And then awful at defending again. O'Neill, the real problem here. Just let him in. Pass it in. And it's in. 2-1. 
I'm just really, really getting frustrated. Until this beauty. Nito, take it away. <laughs> oh, just, just wow. <laughs> I, I will take that very nicely. 2-2. Two, two. I'll take a draw. But the referee had other ideas as O'Neill, the real problem, gives away a penalty and Man City converted on the spot. 3-2 loss. Oh, well. Uh, we can't beat Man City today. Next game against Norwich City. Now, this really surprised me. Well, not the fact that Norwich are well. You, you can probably just guess what happened. Open space shot and... That was a real disappointing goal to concede, Glover, as Norwich City have taken the lead. Yes, folks, Norwich have taken the lead. It's the end of the freaking world. Until we got a penalty, and Marin converted on the spot. 1-1. Okay, keep it calm and nicely. Until it's through ball into Marin again, and Marin decides to smash it past the Norwich City goalkeeper. Normality has returned. And so I thought, because... They were dancing in the box. No one wanted to tackle him and it's in. I'm getting such a headache here. It's just defense is getting on my nerves here. Oh boy. But later on in the game, second half, we got ourselves another penalty and we're able to convert him. Marin gets his hat trick. 3-2, beating Norwich City. But that was too close to call for. If my defense is this bad, what are we going to be like against Liverpool or Anfield? Well, you can see it's open space, it's open season, but luckily a great clearance right there into Pedro Tarvis. Tarvis trying to spot the run, it's through board into Marin. Marin don't screw this up, but he sees support, pass it in, and the Cooper Trooper, Robert Cooper, makes it 1-0 to the Hawk Academy. We caught him off the counter-attack. Okay, nice and calm and relaxed. And the second goal, yeah, Robert Krupa just danced around all the defence and bang, 2-0. Okay, fantastic win against Liverpool at Anfield. And we were able to keep a clean sheet, which, by God, that's a miracle and a half. And on to the quarterfinals of the Carabao Cup against Brentford. We had a really easy run going up to here. And to be fair, we see Marin on the ball, dance it around, pass it short football, lovely football. Brentford had no chance of defending that as Hansen slotted past his keeper to make it 1-0. Could this be a semi-final moment? Well, this counter-attack seals the deal. Lovely football. Ludwig over the top through ball. It's into Marin and Marin slots it past the goalkeeper. 2-0 and the semi-finals confirmed for the Hawk Academy. Wrapping up the first match highlights. Okay, looking at the league table halfway through the season, we're currently in sixth, which I'll freaking take. But I just don't want to screw up like we did last season, to be fair. You know, we just always just get in a high position and drop down. So hopefully we can stay in this healthy sixth position. European football, oh, that's tempting. But semi-finals, this is the important one. And we're against Tottenham Hotspur. Okay, this might be a lot harder. So especially the fact that Tottenham are desperate for trophies as well. So it's a battle of two clubs desperate for some silverware. And then onto the squad. The squad, um, it's been doing well so far halfway through the season. A few depart few players have been dropped to the bench. I've been just trying to figure out my best team. Robert Krupp has been really adapting well to the squad, so let's how let's see how he does the second half of the season. And we kick things off against Tottenham in the second leg of the Carabao Cup. The first leg we simmed, it's a 2-2 draw. So it's all square going into Tottenham Stadium. Oh, brilliant. Now, if we can get past this Tottenham side, the Carabao Cup, Wembley. Oh, this will be so good for us. Come on, Hawk Academy. We get the first chance right here as it's into Hansen. Hansen dribbles round lovely. Tottenham couldn't do nothing about it. Short passing, Krupa couldn't get there, but Marin sure can. Able to finish up the chance, Robert couldn't. And we get the lead, 1-0. Can we keep hold of it? Well, let's find out. As soon as Tottenham go for a chance, we're able to attack them. And counter-attack it, the cameraman couldn't keep up, folks. As Marin's got us another goal. Oh my god. 
quick sensation and speaking of quick sensation Tottenham they couldn't take it anymore they just fell apart as Robert Krupa gets the third goal smashing Tottenham out of the Carabao Cup good luck getting trophies another season Tottenham as we're 3-0 up and off to Wembley I don't know what you're laughing Arsenal fans because guess what you're next as we're in on the ball Easy dribble into Ludric and Ludric's shot hit the roof of the net and gone in to make it 1-0 to the Hawk Academy at the Bird's Nest. And guess what, Arsenal fans? There's more to come. As Ludric's on the ball again, lovely chance, plays it across nicely and Marin smashed it past the Arsenal keeper. 2-0. No, 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 no. I'm not done yet, Arsenal fans. You've got a lot more coming to you. As it's again Marin on the ball, Arsenal defend defending couldn't take hold of it. It's played across to Robert Krupa who smashes it home. A 3-0 win over Arsenal. Oh, just so much fun destroying North London clubs. Quarter finals of the FA Cup as we take on Liverpool. And you can see so much space, so much time for Marin to slot it past Allison to make it 1-0 to the Hawk Academy. Oh my god, we could actually do it. We could actually make the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Until the referee gave Liverpool a penalty, of course. And Mo Salah, you know, he always scores from the spot to make it 1-1. Our FA Cup hopes could be in dire situation. One more chance. As Liverpool failed to prepare, we get him on the counter. Ludric threw balls into Marin. Marin plays off to the Cooper Trooper. Robert Cooper to make it 2 1 and a place at Wembley for the semi finals of the FA Cup. Okay, let's relax and focus on the league now as we've got Manchester United at Old Trafford. And you can see Pedro Tarvis absolutely done him right there. The shot gets blocked and the referee decides to point to the spot, awarding us a penalty. I just. Well, what, you should be giving them the foul for Pedro Tarvis breaking the poor Man United defender's legs. But stick, heck, I'll take the penalty as Marin converted on the spot very close. But Marin able to make it 1-0 until Bruno Fernandes actually showed up and helped them get an equaliser. 1-1. All right, fine, fine, let how it is. Uh, how much money? 6, 70, uh, hey, qu hey, referee, 70 quid to award us another penalty. Thanks, ref. And Marin converts on the spot to make it 2-1. I thought, great. Get the win. Take the referee off. Everybody's happy. Well, I was happy until they had an 85th minute corner converted in. 2-2. Uh, two -two. Drop point against Manchester United at Old Trafford. That's the biggest crime of them all. On to Watford in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. Wembley, it's been so long. As Ludric passed it into Marin and Marin shot. Making it 1-0 to the Hawk Academy. We take the lead. Okay then, we're able to do well. I'm just trying the best to be focused right here. And Marin, focus as you like. Bangs it, gets us another goal. 2-0 on I thought, oh my god. We're actually going to get Wembley again. FA Cup Finals. And then everything went to pieces. As Watford got one. Then the second goal, I really gave them that ball. At two, two, two. They're all level off. All right, focus. And then it got a lot worse as Watford made it three, two. I've really, really lost the point at this point. I just couldn't believe it. We really fucked this up. 80th minute. Come on. One chance. Pass it across. It's into Marin and Marin. I couldn't believe. Wait, what? No, not offside. Oh, God damn it. Let's try that again. <laughs> Two, as it's into Marin. Marin's got space. The Watford defender couldn't keep it. And it's in. There we go. An equalizer for the Hawk Academy to make it 3 3. Oh, my God. And it got a lot, lot more tense. It's extra time couldn't do it. So it relied on penalties. That's Watford. The first person to kick up from the spot. And King absolutely skied it to the left. Now it's on to Ludric. Ludric's shot. Converted easy to make it 1-0 to advantage. All right. Don't screw this up. And uh, oh, that's just embarrassing. 
while Watford get their first goal. Then it's on to Robert Cooper. The Cooper Trooper. And the keeper saved it. Oh no, it's all square. If Watford converted on the spot. And they did. It's all square. Oh, not looking good. Now, the substitute striker able to convert that to make it all square again. Now, Till on the ball. But Glover saves it with his gloves. I couldn't believe it. Then it's Anto Morales. A centre-back of all people converted his penalty spot. Now, if Glover saved this, we're going to the FA Cup Finals. But he didn't save it. Okay, let's try that again. If we score this, we're going to the FA Cup Finals. It's Edro Tarvis. Gonna go for that left spot. Scores! Keeper went the right way, but he couldn't stop it. As we booked a place into the FA Cup Finals. Two Cup Finals in today's episode. Wow! Let's get on to those live games then. Carabao Cup time as we're going to be taking on Southampton. Easy team, yes, not going to lie. But to be fair, it's quite funny. The fact that two teams that rely on their youth academy are in the Carabao Cup Finals. So, heck, anyone's game to be fair. We'll come out live. It's Wembley and Southampton and I, we've been on a journey. We got promoted at the same time. We've been in the Premier League. We're fighting it out. And to be fair, it's going to be real tense in the Carabao Cup. Whew, can we finally win some silverware? Come on, Hawk Academy. That's the intercepted well for Padre Tarvis. Short pass and Volga into Hansen. Hansen into Ludric. Now, is anyone going to make a run? I think Marin's going to make a run right here. Over the top. No, it's too heavy. And all the way. Southampton defends. Oh, it's 1 0. Oh, the Southampton defender's going to be kicking himself. Oh, he's really butchered that. I couldn't believe it. Marin couldn't believe it. But he slotted past it. We've taken the lead. Southampton Eric makes it 1 0. Volga into Fisher into Nito. Nito into Marin. Now we'd love to get another one. And a through board into Ludric. Ludric now it's easy. A slum calmly slots it past Southampton keeper. With 2-0, 16 minutes in, and wow. What a start to the game with two goals ahead at Wembley. Oh come on, pass it in. Southampton. Now I don't want them to get back in this. Yes, is short passing, uh, tackle, yes, there we go, Ross it in, header of the post, and that's not the best clearance, okay, 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 uh, Hansen, Hansen, no, let's get on the counter, let's make it free for free, folks, Hansen, yeah, Southampton's defence, they've been really awful, and look at it, it's getting worse, folks, Hansen, come on, plays it, cross, Ludric saved, saved up, both ends, Costa helped them to keep in this game, but after ending for how long? What is a Well, the ball, Hansen, 36, pass to Ludric. Ludric, come on, let's see if we can do something right here. Nito, Tarvis, Marin, Ludric, 3-0. Wow, what a Barcelona like. Tiki Taka. Short pass and Ludric gets his second and we're 3-0 up. Wow, I can't believe it. We're absolutely running Southampton's defence to a ground right here. We're ruining them. Southampton going to kick off from the spot right here. Now, can they do... Oh, it's intercepted well. Ludric, Marin, into the Cooper Trooper, into Marin. Over the top through ball, controls it well. Can he be able to do it? The shot, top corner! Oh, it's four. It's four for me. Ike, what? What? Are you serious? What a shot. And Ludric gets his hat trick. What a goal. That's the best out of the bunch. Ludric, now can we get a good chance right here? Can we make it five? If this missed five, my God almighty. Yeah, I bet Southampton already leaving. As it's. Oh, I think he saved it onto the post. Unlucky right there. Referee, do them a favour. Half time is blown. What a first half, folks. 4 0, and we're running Southampton to the ground. Southampton fans should be leaving right now, as there's no chance of them getting back in this game. 
And we've still got another 45 minutes to play. I cannot wait for the second half. Neto. Wait, what's Neto going to do? Sorry. Into Pedro Tarves. Go oh, God, before I get my words ready, I hit the crossbar. Rebound! And that's the weakest shot I've ever seen. Right, they got the ball in my area right now. That's an awful tackle. Oh, uh, crap. Cross it in. Get rid of. There we go. Oh, no. Yeah, I saw it straight away. Pedro. Um... I'm a bit annoyed with that. Why did you thought it was a good day to whack the ball out of your hands? It's just uh, great. You just literally cleared it with your hands. I know I want you to clear it, but not like that. All right, step it up for the penalty. What are you going to do about that? And, oh, you just stopped. You, was there any necessary to that? You, you're celebrating like you scored a wonder goal. It's only 4-1. Don't worry, you got three goals to catch up. Cooper into Ludrick. Ludrick's got a lot of space right now. Man of the match performance from him. Twist around into the Polish Wonder Striker. A breakout season for the Cooper Trooper, Robert Krupa. And it's 5 1. We've put the final nail in Southampton's coffin. All right, boot it out long. I need two more added on minutes. And to be fair, what else? Referee, I don't blame you if you get one minute added on, but I don't know why three. You're just delaying the inedible. And that inevitable is us winning the Carabao Cup for the first time. So proud. I said I wanted to go for a cup run at the start of the season. And the boys absolutely took this competition by storm. 5-1. Destroying Southampton's dream. And proving that we're the better youth academy. No, Southampton's always got better youth academy. But still, I'm happy these kids able to perform at Wembley and win a Carabao Cup. Speak about can't win anything, we've just won a trophy. Well, Kendrick Arves going to lift that trophy up. There we go. Beautiful. Silhouette to our name. Carabao Cup. I am so proud of the boys for doing it. Alright, let's move on and see how things are going on elsewhere in the season. Okay, FA Cup final now. Manchester City. Wembley. Oh, God, if things... I have never been more nervous in a cup final. It's just the fact that I've never beaten Man City at the Hawk Academy. This is going to be really, really tense. We're coming out here, Wembley. Oh, it just felt like yesterday when we smashed Southampton 5-1 to win the Carabao Cup. Well, it's the FA Cup, a more historical prize, and we're taking on, my opinion, the most dominating team in English football, Manchester City. A team that I've never beaten. Could this be the day that we could finally beat Manchester City for the FA Cup? We're in on the ball. Able to get past the defence now. We're going to pass it to Ludrick who gets absolutely taken out. I'll take that free kick. He's going to get a yellow card. Oh, that would have been great if he got a red card early on in the game. But we've got ourselves a free kick. I think Marin's got the best free kick stat. Yeah, you spray that nice ref. <laughs> Sorry. All right, uh, you know what, I'm just going to go bottom here with Marin. Going to go for that top right. Oh, he's got it in! Oh, my God, Man City, thank you for that free kick as Marin pulled it past Anderson. And within three minutes, we have only just gone to the lead against Manchester City. What a pearl of a free kick for Marin. Intercepted. Now, uh, Milan Fisher... What's he going to do? Oh, it's an awful pass. That's not who I want to. No. Shot. Glover saved it. Oh, my God. One mistake I made, and that could have really, really hurt us. But Glover was there to make the good save. Thank you ever so much. Rara, this is passing short. Man City are rattled. I mean, rattled like disturbing a rattlesnake nest right here. They're really annoyed. As it's going to go. Oh, no, Rodri. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-1. One, one. What the heck was that? What the heck? The, the, oh, did my defence do the cha-cha slide and move the whole entire side the left? What was that? Oh, Man City 11. We gave it to him on a silver platter. Pass it in. Nito. Pass it to Pedro Tavares. Pedro. Oh, kind of passed it right there. But I'm just going to go for a pass here. Short pass. Ludric. Ludric's got space. Let's get him a shot. And Anderson saved. God, that was getting close. Corner for the Hawk Academy. We're going to pass it short into Marin. Marin, he's a little trickster. Tripped up. He should have gone down there. Cross. Uh, go there. Wait. Referee points to the spot. 
Oh, Man City, you were so close. If Marine would have gone down, he would have won us a pen. But instead, he went go all the way, got the shot off, and you clearly, to be fair, that hit the knee. But heck, it's a penalty. Oh, my God. We can make it 2-1. Marin going to step up for the penalty spot. I'm going to go bottom left. Oh, keep. Oh, oh if he would have just stretched his arms out, he would have saved. But Marin's given us the lead. 2-1 to the Hawk Academy. Robert, Robert Koch heads it. That's a terrible touch. And Man City, they're going to get the final chance before the half. Just please, please don't let him in there. Whips it in. Glover come up. And he's got the ball. Half time. 2-1. A little bit of a deja vu because last episode, last live game, we were 2 1 up and we absolutely bottled it. Let's hope we don't do it here at Wembley. And City on the ball. 49th minute. Just, oh, it's a good interception. Pedro, oh, pass it into Nito. Into Marin. Marin's got a lot of space right here. Into Ludric. Ludric into Robert Kurpa! Oh, that's the best start to the second half. As soon as Man City lost it, I gave him everything I've got. And it worked out fantastic. Short passing, Man City defence. They're in twisting La La Land. And we've only doubled our lead. It's 3 1. Oh, come on, Pedro. It's a Ludric. Ludric, look at the space Hansen's got down there. You know what? Hansen, go by yourself. He's going to cross it in. Header. Oh, no, that's unlucky. Oh, damn. I've been so good. Wait, 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 wait. I oh, God damn, that was close. Literally, I saw the ball come to my feet. I thought, let's just header it to Marin. Marin with an open header. I think he just headed it too close to Enderson. It saved. Man City are panicking. And I bloody love it. Literally, they've... So, oh, let's see if we've got a corner. I'm, you know, I'm going to do what I did last time. Bring Marin a bit closer. He's going to be an absolute menace on that ball. And he has. He's got to pass one. Can he get past another? Blocked. And uh, what referee points to the spot? Oh, things are getting better. Oh, Jack Greenless, what have you done, mate? You've already gone and given us a pen. Oh, just, yeah, he's protected his face. That modelling face, he's protected it well. Oh, Marin's going to get his hat trick here. Marin. Oh, come on. Let's go bottom right this time. And yeah, keeper stood still. Marin gets his hat trick in the FA Cup finals as we're coming out 4 1. 4 1, I can't believe it. Said to Crespo. Crespo's got tackle, but he's still on that ball. I appreciate that, Hansen. Into Marin. Marin into Mohammed. You play it. And oh, Marin's got another. I just, I just bring in on the youngsters now, to be fair, because it's like, heck, we're 4 1 up. No, for, scratch that. 5 1 up. He's only come up with an assist on his debut. Get in there, Mohamed. 5-1, Marin gets us other. Gets another goal. Pass into Crespo. Crespo now. Short pass into Hansen. Hansen to Mohamed. Mohamed, he's got another space. And there's another use you player. Pike. Pike's got one now. Oh, my God. He has so much space, so much time. That's his first ever kick off a ball. And he's only got himself a goal. The youth players, we're running riot on money-filled, oiled-paid Manchester City. Free kick, and to be fair, we're going to pass it short right here. Pike, let's see, into Crespo, no, full time, okay. I was going to say, there's five minutes out on time, but what's the point? Just, what happened, Manchester City? The second half, they fell apart. To be fair, Southampton were more of a challenge than this, and I can't believe it. Manchester City failed in the FA Cup Finals as we beat them 6-1. Our first ever win against Manchester City. We finally beat them 6-1. I'm so proud of the boys. What a way. The first time beating Manchester City in the FA Cup. And we've only done and won the double right here, folks. Pedro Thomas is going to step up for that trophy. Well done, Pedro. And no, no, well done to the team. You freaking deserve it. As we lift up. The FA Cup, uh, the youngest team in the FA Cup history to win it. The Hawke Academy. Wow, what an achievement, folks. Two silverwares in one season. Fantastic. Great way to end up. And the players are celebrating. The youngsters, the kids are celebrating. Go ahead and celebrate. You freaking deserve it. What a hell of a season. And it's time to wrap up that season. Let's have a look at the Premier League table. We finished in fifth place, so... 
even if we didn't win the FA Cup or Carabao Cup, we're going to be playing in Europa League football for the very first time. The Hawk Academy is on tour, folks, as we're going to the Europa League. Really great achievement, folks. Maybe next season we'll push on, but heck, we've got the Europa League next season. I'm ever so proud. And right, let's see the top goal scorers. What a season. The Cooper Trooper, Robert Krupa, with 39 goals. Wow. What a fantastic season for him. Then we got Marin with 27, improvement from last season. Ludrick with 17, and Paul Walker with 13. On to the assists, and over 32 of them from Ludrick, 16 from Marin, and 10 from Hansen. The squad right here, what can I say, but I was impressed. We had a little bit of a hiccup with defence, I'm not going to lie. We did concede some very sloppy goals, but we pushed on. This is how much this team wanted to win silverware. And we didn't just win one, we won two, we done the double. A historical year, an historical season. But next season, let's push on in Europa League. And you got to find that out next episode, season number six. That'll be out soon. Hope you enjoyed season number five. If you do, leave it a like, comment down below. And subscribe for more Karimo content. I'll see you lot later.